I'm Randy the Freckled Californian and today we are going to talk about growing and caring for lemongrass in the garden. It is right now uh, end of March going into April and the lemongrass has been growing like this all winter or not growing it's been staying dormant. So I keep it like this so it kind of insulates itself and protects itself from frost and cold temperatures. During this time of year, lemongrass is dormant anyway, so it's not really doing much. We just have to keep it from dying from frost. Real quick, I'm gonna take you up close because this is a very, I don't know, dilapidated little clump of lemongrass. I have barely been taking care of it the last year, but it fills this whole pot every single year, and I have plenty for what I need. But like, some of these are really thick, the stalks, I don't know if you can see them, and we just have to clean this up. We're just gonna go ahead and start trimming this down, clean, cleaning it up, and I'm going to remove these outer stalks here, and I'm gonna not touch them too much because I don't have gloves on, but we're gonna start by removing these big outer stalks. First things first, wear gloves whenever you're handling lemongrass because these leaves are kind of like, they kind of grip almost and give me little paper cuts. So not fun, wear gloves. Um, but we're gonna start, some of these outer stalks are just so like overgrown. I might, uh, we'll see. We'll just start by giving this a trim. So I'm gonna trim down, I'm gonna go to like here. Give it a nice little trim. Lemongrass is a kind of tropical plant. It likes warm weather. It likes moist soil. So it's not going to be happy in our winters here, but that's okay because we don't get cold enough to actually um, kill it with a frost. Obviously, if you cut it down and left it vulnerable and then we got a heavy frost, it would definitely have trouble coming back. But Lemongrass in general is just a tropical growing clumping grass. Oh, look at that. It's already looking better. In terms of soil for lemongrass, oh, and I just should say, I'm kind of just chopping to where the stalk begins and like an inch up. So this is where the grass is starting and I'm trimming it, trimming it down to about an inch. Um, in general, um, lemongrass really tolerates a wide variety of soils, but that's the key. If it's in a poor nutrient soil, then you're not really going to get that really thick, juicy stalk. You might get stalks that are smaller, more woody, or fibrous, which isn't really ideal for cooking. So while I find that it can survive many different conditions, you're gonna get the best quality when you're growing it in ideal conditions. So this is going to be um, soil amended with compost, loss of organic matter, uh, consistent moisture, and enough sun, but not too much sun. So it wants to stay warm. And when you put it in those conditions, that's when you're gonna get big, thick, juicy stuff that you're gonna wanna use for cooking. Oh, mm. I wish you could smell this. Even the leaves when you're chopping them off smell good. And I know some people use the leaves actually for different kinds of things like teas. Obviously these are not high quality leaves, so we're not gonna do that. But also, I don't actually tend to use lemongrass that way. I tend to use mainly the stock of lemongrass. And I do like meat marinades. Um, I am gonna show you how to make a tea with the stock part, uh, but marinades, curry paste, things like that. Ooh. So I won't be able to fit it all in today, but next time I will do a tea recipe. So we'll go into the kitchen with some of these stocks and I'll show you how to make this really delicious tea. So stay tuned. Well, some of that, like, cheese. Look at this. This is great compost. Compost matter. All right. So as I was saying, lemongrass grows as a clump, right? So it's like a clumping perennial grass. And we're going to leave a clump intact in the middle. And this will give us room all the way 
around the outer part of the pot for our grass to pump out this season. So, and I'm also gonna amend with some good compost and I don't know what else yet, we'll see. Now, when you wanna harvest lemongrass, you really just like go like this and you zip it out. Like that's how you harvest it. And you just tear off, like if you want to reroute this. Oh, I have to show you, I'll show you. So here is that lemongrass that I just ripped out. And if I were harvesting this, I could actually rip this bottom part with these roots off. I'll just do it. Let's see if I can do it. Pressure's on. Yes. And see, you get this stock part and you get this bottom part with the root and you can replant that. And that will grow back. It's as simple as that. So I'll put this in a special spot and I'll decide if I want to replant it. Oh, and that's a lemongrass stock. These are a little older. Obviously, this is not the ideal season. When you go to cook with it, you continue to remove these outer leaves until you're left with like a very fresh, um, I guess like young and tender part of the stock here. Uh, I want to make room in this pot for it to grow. So we'll keep going. Look at it. And you want to remove all this old dead leaf stuff. Look, another stock just came off. So this is some of the lemongrass that we tore off and I wanted to show you ways to start lemongrass. Obviously, you can go to the nursery and you can buy a pot of lemongrass, then you're set. But if you go to the grocery store and you get something like this, if it has enough bottom, you can actually stick these pieces in water and they'll root. Like, look at that. That would totally root. And then you have lemongrass. Another option is you have a friend that grows lemongrass and they snap off a bottom piece for you. And again, you can either stick it right in the soil or you can root it in water. So let me see. I'll show you that one, the ramekin that I started. All right, so I wanted to show you, this is the end that I literally just as an experiment to show. Um, I put the bottom in water after I harvested the stock and look, see, roots. You just plant this guy right in the soil like that and he'll sprout up. So that's one way to propagate, although I'd recommend a tall glass and sticking the stalks down like this, but I didn't have any at the moment, so that's what I ended up doing. But that's just to kind of like demonstrate. Another option is you can take this and literally stick your end into the soil, bury it down, and it'll root. Kind of like uh, if you've ever grown green onions or celery from scraps. So that's another option too, in soil or in water. In terms of <coughs> whew, growing lemongrass in the ground versus a container, personally, I like having it in a container so I can move it around to wherever is necessary. It also keeps it kind of in one spot, not too crazy. But you can absolutely put it in the ground. My mom grows it in the ground. Um, and you just kind of like maintain it the same. Keep it as a nice clump. And um, leave it alone during the dormant season. But you know it's time to prepare it when your chance of frost is gone. The days are warming up. Um, ideally, you want to do the chop back before it's so warm that it's already started to put off new growth. Um, but also not before it is too cold for the plant. So sun-wise, here it's pretty, we get into triple digit, triple digit temperatures in the summer, and so it gets almost too hot for full sun. So I keep mine in partial shade, but it does need warmth, and it needs enough sun um, so that it will grow nice and big and green. So you can try it out and see what works best for you. That's another reason I like growing it in a pot. Um, and then watering, nice moist soil. Again, it's like a tropical plant. So keep that in mind. And honestly, if you let it dry out, that just means your stalks might not be, I don't know, quite as big and thick. And so your plant is gonna tell you if it's happy or not.
Last but not least, I have this beautiful potting soil mix here. The ingredients say that there's things like compost in it. There's like a wonderful mix of everything you need. Plus it has great drainage for pots. So I am just going to top off this whole pot with potting soil. So here's some of the stocks we harvested today and go ahead, subscribe, stay tuned because we are going to take these into the kitchen and make a tea.